Greetings friends, Dragon here once again. If it's your first time finding the channel, then do please consider clicking that red button. Quick unboxing today, and one I'm very excited to get into. This is 88 Films' most recent Shaw Brothers release. It's been a while since we could say that. Last time round, we got Clan of the White Lotus, which was spine number 26. This is Jimmy Wang Yu's Spectacular, the Chinese boxer. In Cantonese, Long Fu Dao, literally means dragon tiger fight. Uh, sometimes known as Hammer of the Gods or Hammer of Gods, depending on which territory or which release you saw. Um, but I've always known this as The Chinese Boxer, a pretty seminal movie in the overall arc of classic Jimmy Wang Yu movies. Came after The One-Armed Swordman, which was 1967. Chinese Boxer was 1970. And then after he split away from Shaw's, he made The One-Armed Boxer. Could you see a theme? Take a little of this, take a little of this, and you end up with this. But today we're all about The Chinese Boxer. Not going to be a full movie review, just going to be an unboxing because I'm itching to see what is inside. First off, we can't not talk about the spectacular cover art uh, by the man, the legend, the myth, the Sharpie Samurai, Kung Fu Bob O'Brien. It's done an incredible job as always. Spectacular composition on the front and Bob always manages to zone in on the, the elements that make each film spectacularly unique. Pretty awesome. Let's get a wee look inside. Also very happy to see, even though it's been a little bit of time since 88 put out one of these, they have given us the option of sticking with the black numbered spines on one side. A pretty cool move. We get Bob's art wrapping around one spine and on the other spine we get the traditional black so you can, you can have your cake and eat it as far as how you want to display these. And if you don't have the other ones then you don't have to feel bad about it. You can just flip it around and use that side. If you do then this will happily fit in along your other numbered editions. So we get a replication of Bob's art on the inside sleeve. And 88 are always spectacular about giving us the original poster art. I always like to have a little bit of both. I like to have Bob on the outside and the HK poster on the inside. Inside the box, we get a poster and we get a book. Poster is exactly the same, but bigger. So we get Bob's glorious cover art in a great sized poster here. I'm sure this will adorn many a wall. And then the original Hong Kong poster on the other side. Pretty fantastic. And then our little book, which I think will have stills from the films. And we also get uh, Hong Kong's famous fight life. Why Jimmy Wang used the Chinese boxer remains a crucial step forward in the world of martial arts cinema. It certainly does. It was a massively influential movie. Really inspired Bruce Lee's Fist of Fury, which in turn itself inspired King Boxer, but this was really one of the ones that came first when Jimmy was still under contract at Shaw's. I haven't read the book yet, but I'm sure that's what it's getting into. Jimmy with his oven mitts. That's by Andrew Graves. Some great snow sequences in this towards the last act. Rolly is classic villain. That's flying you on his one-man crusade to make sure that everybody wears a mask during COVID lockdown. Tremendous, beautiful little booklet, beautiful presentation, beautiful to have 88 films back doing Shaw Brothers. Fuck yes. If this is one you're going to pick up, let me know in the comments below if it's one that you're still waiting for. Hopefully you will get it soon. This officially gets released in the UK on the 8th of November, which is next Monday as I'm recording this, and the 9th in the US. This is one of the first Shaw Brothers releases they're releasing as both Region A and Region B. Exciting times. Thank you for joining me. Review for this coming very soon once I've had a chance to check through all the extras, of which there are quite a few. Looking forward to getting into the commentary track, looking forward to getting into the other little kind of wee featurettes, and looking forward to getting into one of the archived interviews from Frederick Ambrosine's archives, which are always fantastic. Great, awesome, superb. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.